perhaps you could just give us an idea of what the last year has been like. Um... I guess that's a where would you start question, but give it a go. It's... It's, um... Hard. You know, I don't think anybody could understand that, but I, I, in all fairness, I... I had no idea, which probably sounds difficult to understand here, but when I, um... When I first met my now husband, my friends were really happy because I was so happy, but my British friend said to me, I'm sure he's great, but you shouldn't do it because the British tabloids will destroy your life. And I very naively, I'm American, we don't have that there. What are you talking about? That doesn't make any sense. I'm not in tabloids. I didn't get it. So it's, um, yeah, it's been complicated. I've said for a long time to H, that's what I call him. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> um, it's not enough to just survive something, right? Like, that's not the point of life. You've got to thrive. You've got to feel happy. And I think I really tried to adopt this British sensibility of a stiff upper lip. <laughs> it has its, you know, it has its <laughs> I advantages, tried, I, I really guess. I really tried, um, but I think that what that does internally is probably really damaging. Um, and the biggest thing that I know is that I, I never thought that this would be easy, but I thought it would be fair. And that's the part that's really hard to reconcile. But um, I don't know, just do take each day as it comes.